Well, thousands of people here in northeast Wisconsin have been enjoying their holiday weekend outdoors. While the high cost of travel has been inconvenient for most, it's been great for turnout at some area weekend hotspots. Add in the nice weather, and some are already calling it a successful weekend. Fox 11's Beth Jones has the story. For months now, Highcliff State Park in Sherwood has been booked solid for the 4th. Some families say it's tradition to set up shop at High Cliff. Our son started it, um, getting together some of his friends, and they invited us along, so it was really nice. And now we have a new granddaughter, so she's starting another tradition. But others canceled a trip up north or some other long haul, deciding to keep their vacation within a few miles from home. Gas prices are a little high, and to uh, drive up north to the North Woods would probably be a couple hundred dollars in gas, so stay local this year. All 120 campsites are full, and since mid-morning, the entire boat launch parking lot was booked solid, too. Officials say they've seen a few out-of-towners coming in, but this year, the majority of the campers have been local. We're getting a lot of locals that just want to stay in, in the area. And the beautiful weather, which took a while to get here, has also been good for business, especially for summer events just right across the lake. Coordinators of the 40th annual Sawdust Days in Oshkosh say it hasn't quite been a record-breaking year, but numbers are looking good so far. Coordinators say this event brings in about 150,000 people throughout the five days of festivities. However, they say because of the nice weather this weekend, they expect to exceed last year's numbers. We're very excited about it. We have so many new things and we've had a great crowd turnout. Weather's been beautiful, a little warm one day, but people came down anyway. It was just great. And with more nice weather expected, Schmidt hopes crowds hold steady for the last day of the festival, since this year it also falls on the 4th. In Oshkosh, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News. Sawdust Days, which is hosted by the city of Oshkosh, wraps up tomorrow. Any profits are donated to Menominee Park in Oshkosh and the Festival of Lights.